And on the Texas Gulf Coast tonight, the Rio Grande Valley and South Padre Island have been dealing with high winds and heavy rains throughout today. Our Tim Gerber is in Port Isabel tonight. Tim, is it even possible to get over to South Padre at this point? Ursula, not unless you are a police officer or emergency responder. The bridge is closed and has been now for several hours, meaning anybody who is on the island is now stuck there for the duration of the storm. Earlier today, we went over there and found that most people had already left. Early this morning, there was a steady stream of cars coming across the Queen Isabella Causeway as the first strong rain and wind bands began thrashing the coast. As Alex moved closer to shore, conditions on the island rapidly deteriorated. Those who thought they might ride out the storm decided to leave instead. This family had just arrived today. Oh, we might turn around and go back. Uh -huh. We came and rode out one here a few years ago. But uh, I think this is going to be worse. It's 1035 and the flooding has already begun here on South Padre Island. Water coming up to the businesses. But it really doesn't matter because there's not anyone really out on the streets unless they're crossing the bridge to get out. Some businesses say that they're open, but clearly there's no business today. It was the same story all along Padre Boulevard. Business after business boarded up, but at least one was getting ready to reopen once the storm passes. You ever made a delivery in the middle of a hurricane? Uh, not really. <laughs> Even as the storm intensified, we found this crew making a food delivery to McDonald's. You gotta deliver them burgers. Stacy House said getting the big rig across the Causeway Bridge was a bit hairy, and he wasn't looking forward to the return trip. I'm just waiting on him to finish, and we're going to head on back to Houston. Yeah? Yeah. Um, it had enough of Alex? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Supposed to get worse later on, don't it? Yeah. Yeah, we're trying to get up out of here. And we are really taking a beating from Alex right now. We had a nice lull for the afternoon, but uh, Alex is cranked back up. It's doing a, a lot of damage over here uh, in Port Isabel to this little fishing dock over there. You can see what well, used to be an ice cooler is now floating away as these uh, large waves begin battering this side of the island. And the conditions are only going to continue to worsen throughout the night. We've recorded uh, sustained winds of about 20 to 25 miles per hour, but we've had gusts certainly upwards of 50 miles per hour, and it really feels like it's cranking up. So we'll continue. Continue watching it throughout the night. For now, reporting live in Port Isabel, Tim Gerber, KSAT.